Hi there, I'm Eitan, and welcome back to the Wix Wiz. It's Monday, April 8th, 2024, and this is the last week on Wix. I have some pretty cool updates to share with you today, so please stick on till the very end. You won't want to miss this. Okay, so first off, apology for the kind of like campfire vibes I have going here. Uh, it was a long day, and I only got to recording this really kind of in the evening and my lighting in my makeshift studio is not very great. Um, so I hope you're enjoying these vibes. And uh, first thing we're going to talk about is just the, you know, the regular news and announcements here inside of the Wix Studio forum. And there's not much here, uh, nothing too interesting. We have this update here about the Wix loyalty program. Um, so you can set a points expiration date and add new loyalty emails. I'm not going to get into what new loyalty emails is. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar, the Wix loyalty program is a way to create different incentives and rewards for your customers, and it syncs with various other Wix e-commerce apps. Uh, if you're using it, I'm really curious to hear because I haven't seen it so much on uh, websites and I've worked on. Uh, I personally haven't used it, but it does have a whole set of APIs, so it could be customized with Velo code as well. Um, and the update here is really that you can set a points expiration date. So the points that people get and accumulate, uh, instead of just having them live forever, they can have an expiration date, and that would be a further incentive uh, for people to use them up quickly uh, and engage with your website and buy your products and whatnot. Um, or forget and then not have the points anymore and then force them to buy more stuff on your website and frustrate all your customers. No, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, so that's uh, one update that we have over here. And another thing here about online programs, send automatic invoices to program participants. Not too fascinating. Uh, it kind of ties in just to online programs, which we talked about last week, uh, which was a more significant update. So if you missed that, then you might want to check out uh, our kind of chat last week uh, on last week on Wix. And yeah, that's really all we have here for news and announcements. Uh, one more Wix Studio related thing is that this new mail newsletter uh, popped into my inbox, uh, the sync, not with an I, but with a Y for those of you who are listening on the podcast. If anybody, I'm, I don't know if anybody actually watched the pod or listens to the podcast version of this. Um, but yeah, so it's a, your monthly Wix Studio brief uh, with just a kind of an accumulation of all of the updates that we've already seen uh, throughout the past few weeks with regard to Wix Studio. I don't remember talking about maybe centralized client feedback, uh, but that's more related to kind of the general Wix Studio partner studio as opposed to the actual editors and kind of building websites. So. I don't find it personally too interesting, but it could be relevant to you. So you might want to check that out. Um, and in general, if you are interested in getting yet another newsletter to your uh, inbox, or you just like to hear from Wix in general, then you can try and sign up somehow to this. I'm not sure how I even got signed up. Uh, maybe because I created a Wix Studio website. I don't know. Um, you can try Googling the sync with a Y, uh, Wix Studio reach out to Wix, or maybe you already got this and you're reading it and I'm just boring you. Uh, so that's what I have here in terms of Wix Studio. And now we can get into the really juicy stuff that I wanted to talk about today. And that has to do with something that I just came across inside of the Velo release notes. It's kind of like an Easter egg. Uh, it's an API that's in the developer preview, um, but it links into something that I kind of knew was coming already. And it's, of course, in beta, which in Wix means that it'll be a while until it's working uh, fully functional. But it is something quite exciting, I think, for a lot of you out there. Um, so let's hop in and check in, check out the Velo release notes and see what this uh, kind of update that we're expecting to see is. So here I am in the Velo release notes. Uh, for those of you who don't know how to get here, then you'll want to just go to the Velo reference. And then just scroll all the way down over here to where you see release notes, uh, or you can just go directly to the URL, uh, wix.com slash velo slash reference slash release notes slash release notes. Um, so that is the release notes, and it's just kind of different updates to the Velo APIs. And here, so first of all, we have something that's 
not too interesting. It's it's okay. It's cool. It's a new release about more Wix events APIs. Uh, this has been in developer preview for quite a while, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know specifically. Maybe this is an update to the APIs that were in the developer preview. To be honest, I didn't even dive into it too much because the next thing I'm about to show you here in the news really caught my eye, so completely distracted me. Uh, and that is, drum roll, new developer preview APIs, mobile elements. And initially, this might not sound so exciting because you're like, okay, I could already edit my site on mobile. Why do I need specific APIs for mobile? And then if you read a little bit more, you will realize that this is actually something that has to do with the branded apps. And if you continue to scroll down and read a little more, you'll see there's another API preview for Wix Mobile. And that also has to do with the branded apps. And of course, these are super developer preview. I will show you in a moment that you probably can't even access these yet, but this has to do with the ability to edit the branded apps and create custom apps with Velo. So for those of you who don't know what the branded app is, basically you can take your Wix website and as soon as you create a Wix website, so you'll get this app called like Spaces, which is like a very generic Wix app which connects to your website in various ways. I haven't used it in a while, to be honest. It integrates with various kind of Wix apps and stuff like that. But there's also the option to create a branded app, which is an app that actually is published under your brand in the, you know, the app stores inside of Google and, and uh, the iOS store, uh, Apple. And it's really built to feel like a native mobile app and to completely have your branding so it doesn't have all of the Wix branding that Spaces has. Um, and when you download Spaces, you're pretty much downloading like an app that's called Spaces and then you can find different websites. Anyway, the branded app. So people have tried it out. Uh, I've heard it's quite pricey. I've taken a peek at it, but one of people's concerns is that if you have built your website um, using Velo code, then all of the pages that have Velo, essentially, you don't really have a way to implement them inside of your branded app. But I've been waiting to speak about this because I wasn't sure, you know, how much I could divulge. Uh, but I actually had kind of a, a meeting with um, some representatives from Wix um, maybe a month or so ago. Uh, to discuss this topic, and they've been working on it for a while. Uh, the ability to create Velo customizations, add custom code to your branded apps. Okay, so this is a big deal. Uh, and this release of these APIs means that it's another step forward. Uh, so it isn't like a huge public announcement. It's probably still in super beta. Uh, I hopped into the mobile uh, app builder. Um, so first of all, I went in kind of through through this landing page. Uh, I clicked build your app and I went ahead and you can actually go in and develop a branded app uh, directly, like not even without even having a Wix website. So you could have already a Wix website and then find the branded app through your dashboard. Uh, but you also have the option to just go in here. I actually didn't know that. I just discovered that today. And you can just build your app from scratch and it creates kind of a Wix dashboard like without a website. So essentially just like direct to mobile app as opposed to having a website. Um, but for those of you who are coming from your website, you can also kind of create the branded app from there. Um, and I noticed actually a discrepancy. So I went over here. I clicked this kind of like build your app right over here. And it created this this app editor. So this is this is the branded app editor for those of you who've never seen it before. And you have the ability to kind of add all of these native elements in. And they connect to various, you know, Wix, you know, you can connect your store and you can change the design, but you're, you're still somewhat limited. So this still isn't customization. But now if you scroll all the way down, you can see here on the bottom, it says custom widgets beta. And uh, this is essentially where you'll have widgets that you can use with Velo code. So, you know, widgets like, let's say, a repeater and different elements that you can drag in. And from what I've seen, 
I'm assuming now that I can tell you because I saw this inside of the APIs and you can see it already here inside of this public editor. Uh, so essentially what you'll have is you'll have uh, an editor very much like the one that you have uh, inside of the Wix IDE, inside of the you know classic or Wix Studio editor. So not the not the Wix IDE that you can open up in a separate browser tab. That's essentially VS Code, but like the built-in uh, Wix editor, uh, Wix I Velo IDE, <laughs> and um, you can create custom code for both like on page. So like for within the mobile app, you know, you click something, this disappears, this appears. Um, so that's pretty much what we see over here. So like engaging with the various Mo native mobile elements using Velo code on page. And the really cool thing is that it will also seamlessly, uh, sorry, where was I over here? It will seamlessly integrate with your backend as well. So you build your backend APIs and you can call those APIs also from your website, but also from your mobile app. So you can have the same backend logic interacting with your CMS and whatnot, and then implement those on both the website and your mobile app. So it also kind of saves time and it's just makes your website even more powerful because it's acting now as a server, essentially both for a website and for a mobile app. So that's, that's pretty cool. Um, not available really yet. I mean, I, I saw what it says here. So it says here, like this feature is only available for sites built with the studio editor. So I tried to go in and actually build like I created a studio site and then I went into the branded app section and then I went uh, to try and add in elements and I didn't even see here on the bottom that same uh, widget that you can see over here. Uh, so I don't, it must like just be rolling out. It makes sense. I mean, they just published those release notes like late last week. Um, I think that they are testing this out with some users um, who have expressed interest in this before. Um, so if you have a website on Wix and you kind of were interested in the branded app, but you haven't dived into the branded app, branded app because you realize that you won't be able to implement all of the functionality that you have customized on your website inside of the branded app and you're looking to implement it now, then you could be eligible uh, for this beta. Um, I'm kind of going to promise, <laughs> I'm going to offer something here that I don't even know that I can offer, but if that is you, uh, please do reach out um, either here in the comments uh, or reach out via the WixWiz website, and uh, I will try and hook you up with the beta. Um, and if you also need help doing the coding and stuff like that, we can also help you with that. Um, so do let me know, but as as everything is with Wix, especially things that are in beta, even the things that are not in beta are in beta. So when they actually say it's a beta, that means it's like more like an alpha, like really just kind of scratching the surface. Um, so do expect some hiccups uh, along the road. Um, but yeah, if you're kind of have an entrepreneurial spirit and you want to try something new, uh, then I can try and hook you up uh, with this beta. So please uh, let me know in the comments or via the WixWiz website. And that's all I have for today. I think this is really exciting. I kind of knew that it was somewhere down the line, but as Wix tends to do, they don't really announce things. They just kind of slide it into the release notes and see who picks up on it. Uh, so yeah, it's it's coming out. It might be months, it might be, I don't know, a year till it's fully uh, ready for everybody to use, but it's on the way uh, and I'm pretty excited. If you're also excited, give a thumbs up. And uh, yeah, if you uh, enjoyed this last week on Wix and you want Wix updates every week or you want to see some of the tutorials that we have on the channel that come out also every week, uh, then you can try subscribing. Uh, worst case, if you don't like it, you can unsubscribe. <laughs> no, please don't. Uh, and yeah, I'll see you next time.